Welcome my guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So yes, today this is like the second part to one of my previous videos. Remember the video where I did that little get ready with me where I did a chit chat with you guys and I was wearing this beautiful blonde wig from Mega Look here. It's the same wig, the very same wig. This is how it's looking, you know. So today, remember I told you the next time I was going to color it. So today I'm actually going to be doing the watercolor method with it. Um, it's not my first time doing the watercolor method. I just don't do it as much, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to be doing cotton candy pink. That color has been recommended by so many of you guys. If you guys know me, like if you've been following me for a long time, you know I'm not a fan of pink like that. But I always try to do things just to get out of my comfort zone and, you know, you know, take different suggestions from you guys and stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be doing cotton candy pink. That's the whole vibe. These are the hair colors I have for it. All of them are the same thing. I'm using the Adore semi-permanent color. I have three bottles here. I don't know if I'm going to end up using all. I just wanted to be safe. This is the pink petal. And it looks pretty light and cotton candy like to me. So this is what I got. I also have neon pink in case I feel like I want to oomph up the color a little bit. So what I do, I'm, I'm actually boiling some water right now. That's what I'm going to be using. So in the meantime though, before... Oh, and by the way, yes, this is for Mega Look here. So all the details will be down below in the description box. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. So what is on this is some foundation that was left on it. I don't really mind it, but to further, if you watch that video, you'd have seen when I applied the foundation just to let it blend more with my scalp. So just to give it a tint. So to protect the lace from staining, which this is something I always do when I have um, colored wigs like these, I get my got to be freezing spray and this helps to create a barrier um, so it doesn't bleed on it. So give it a nice coating. So I'm going to be dipping everything in the water. It's going to be dipped in there. It's going to get on it, but it will not stain it, you know. So this is, what I, this is my little hack I do, you know, to prevent it from getting stained. The cap construction is so nice and feels very secure once you apply it. So Shout out to Mega Look here for the bar construction. Um, yes, so I'm gonna check on my water and stuff. This is gonna dry down, so ensure that this is dry, even though it's gonna get that way, but make sure it's dry first. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this today. I'm very excited for this, so let's go, let's get it. So then I have this. But so I'm just gonna pour everything in there. So I'm just gonna take one butter first and see how the hair takes it. And then this brush, so I'm just gonna mix up everything. Okay, so it's doing kind of streaky. Feel like I'm going to end up putting another bottle in there. So yeah, I definitely feel like I'm going to need another bottle. It literally soaked up everything. The water is so clear. So I'm gonna put another bottle in. And I don't use a lot of lot of water just because I don't want it to completely wash out. So. Okay, 
going to use the last bottle because I feel like I'm still seeing some streaks that I want to take some more color. I left it in here for like five minutes this is how it's looking it's looking really bright actually <laughs> locks I know my lace is not stained my lace is not stained I'm gonna go ahead and wash this so I figure because it's wet it looks really bright it took the color pretty well like it has highs and low in there like it's not thoroughly even but i use all three bottles so and it shows up every all the color you see how the water looks it came out exactly how i wanted it to come out i'm so happy perfect cotton candy vibes that i was looking for and yes as you can see from the title yes i'm attempting cardi b today honey cardi b is what we're going for she's the inspiration behind this look so I'm loving this. So all I'm gonna do pretty much to kind of prep the hair right now is I'm gonna um, just flat iron it and I'm gonna have to give it a bang. It's been a while since I've done a bang look, like a long time. I don't think I've even really done ever done a bang look on my channel. Yeah, but it, it was just a long time ago. So that's what we're that's what we're going to be attempting today. <laughs> So I think the first thing I'm actually going to do is attempt, just go ahead and cut the bang. really transform so excited about this um <laughs> haven't done a bang look in so long so i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this i'm just gonna style it completely on my head and you know a lot of you guys have been asking me for to asking me to do like a reinstallation asking for me to do a reinstallation wig video haven't got around to that yet this is kind of one of those but not exactly just because you know it's a bang and i do understand you guys want to see more of the lace portion so i'll do that sometime soon with another video i'm just gonna get this out the way so i can go ahead and secure it so you can just go ahead and watch while i go I'm gonna just make sure it's secure in my head and everything like
So as I can see from the picture, guys, she had her hair in like a top knot, in a top ponytail with like a bow bun. So that's the vibe. That's the exact same vibe I'm going to try. I've never really done this before, but I'm going to try it and hopefully it turns out good. Understand? So, oh my gosh, you guys saw, it was such a challenge for me. If you heard a little bit of noise in the background, it's my fan. I'm sorry. But this bow was that easy. And I had to tweak it, as you can see. I left out a bit in the back a little bit. So, it's a half of half, don't know. But I really don't mind because I didn't really like the way, I don't know. I don't like the way it was fitting my head, personally. Like, to do it like one big pink do like oh uh, no it wasn't I, I wasn't feeling it so i i went ahead and just but the same way you saw me doing the bow that's just how i went on so i'm gonna cut the bang now that's what i want to make sure to do my makeup before applying the wig just so i could just make life easier Okay guys, this is a bit lame, like sway. <laughs> Why? I can't but uh no some not like that your cellular. It look way easier on picture. Well at least for me. And to do uh, like my not like that when you're a breathe me. But can't cut that too exact over the eye because like that's gonna be too short. Hopefully, it's not too short. Oh my God, me don't know me gonna do if it's too short. Jesus Christ, I really don't want it too short. I hate seeing short bangs. Okay, it's coming together. Ah, I got scared for a little bit. Jeez, jeez. She had two long pieces left on the side. Oh, now I'm looking like a Barbie. No, 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 no. This is looking like a Barbie vibe. So now I need to just take off a little bit more of the ends. Oh my gosh, I've never really done anything this bold before. I cannot recall. Like this cute little. Me? 
No, come on, find one here. This really took me outside of my comfort zone. This really took me outside of my comfort zone. Like, no lie. No lie. Like, that one here really take me. It really took me to another level. This is not bad at oh, all. Not bad at all. Yes. Yes, I am loving the way this came together. What? <laughs> I'm all done with this wig look, this wig transformation. I went from this to this real quick, real, real quick. I'm loving the transformation. Honestly, I underestimated doing this hairstyle to be very i know it looks very simple but what really took up my time if it was just a regular bang wig like with just a bang and then the rest of it down it would have been fine but to get this bow right here was, was a bit challenging you know because i've always done it but not like like with a more messy look you know so and it's still not even it's not as you guys know it's not the exact thing like what she's rocking but pretty similar she had her hair completely in one and her bow was way bigger she was working with way more hair so like yeah but i still thought this would be really cute so i went ahead did a half up half down and i'm loving it let me know what you guys think about it the whole bubble gum um slash cotton candy vibe it came together so nicely the hair took the color so nicely and <laughs> oh my gosh i mean i'm not the biggest fan of a bang for myself that is but i mean change is good but go ahead and give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it let me know what you think let me know your thoughts um all the specification on this wig will be down below in the description box you guys can go ahead and get it for yourself you know experiment like i did it was so much fun and yeah mega look on a one <laughs> This is lit. This is very, very nice. And stay tuned for my next video. Go and make up on yourself. And that's it for today. So until next time, I'm your girl Petite. Bye.